YouTube, what is up? And welcome back to another episode of Quick Tips and Tricks. In this series, I aim to essentially give you guys bite-sized tips and tricks that you can use in your everyday editing workflow in Lightroom and Photoshop. And specifically in this video, I am gonna show you maybe some things you haven't known that you could do within Lightroom and the Crop Tool. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on my screen and let's get started. Now, in Lightroom, I have this image that I recently shot, and to get started, we're just gonna go ahead and hit R, and that's gonna basically bring up our crop tool. And if you notice, the horizon line is definitely not straight. A very easy and quick way that I like to do this is you click right here on the angle tool, and essentially click once, and then let go on your next point. So you're essentially drawing the horizon line from point A to point B, let go and Lightroom does the rest. It's absolutely amazing. It helps you get the horizon line straight every single time, which is a huge help because this is like the last thing that I'm thinking of when I'm shooting photos. And for the life of me, I definitely cannot take a straight photo. Anyways, going back into the uh, crop tool, we're gonna go ahead and hit R. This might be something you didn't know. You can actually change your overlay for your crops. So for example, we can just hit O and you can see it just changes and cycles through a bunch of different ones here. Super cool. This one I find super helpful, especially if you're printing photos. You can see exactly your aspect ratio is or what it would be for a four by five, five by seven, et cetera, et cetera. Super, super helpful. Just keep in mind that you can do that here. And then if you go ahead and click and hold shift while you hit O, you can change its orientation as well. This goes with any overlay here. So for example, I mean, you're not gonna really notice it here, but if you click here, right here, you can go ahead and switch this back and forth by holding shift and so on and so forth. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It would mean the world. And if you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so as I'm coming out with new videos for you every single week. And if you have a specific topic that you might want me to go over in one of these videos, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below. I read every single comment and respond to every single one. And without further ado, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.